we shall now learn default display templates for a model basically you can create a modular layout a modular design at the model level also that is we can define how that model will look like on the display so once you define it on the model then the entire website wherever that model is presented will have a consistent look suppose i have a model called c student data having certain properties 1 2 3 4 whatever and i have one view page on this i have written at the rate model c student data and here i write code for displaying the model with one single line as we learn later this entire model along with it all its properties will be displayed at this position this is a sort of a code that will write one liner here and the entire model will be displayed here according to the scheme we specify not only this wherever on your website this c student data object is to be displayed then the same layout will appear everywhere in this three series lecture in first chapter we learn the default display templates for a model that is what are provided by default you don't have to write any display model at this point you can examine what are the various what what is the default display template that mvc makes available for a view till now we have shown this view by writing at the rate uh, model dot properties although that is the preferred way no doubt about it normally you will prefer that way but in case it is desired to modularize it at the level of a model then you can see how we can do it it is better to see the concept in operation so coming straight away to our project so i have cre already created an empty uh, or a basic mvc app and i'm adding a model add class c student data this is our model consisting of two properties name and roll number we'll come to our controllers add a home controller add a view i generally myself don't tick mark this one because i'll write it manually add and the first line we write here is add the red model followed by the complete path this is what we shall pass to this model and uh, to this view this is what we shall pass to this view so we'll create an object of c student data here right click to resolve
okay we are passing c student data object to view and on the view we are having at the rate model at the top the objective is to display the model one way is of course to write at the rate model dot name and roll number that is one way but mvc provides a default template also for the entire model so we can write at the rate html dot display for model just one line at the rate html dot display for model so mvc will take the best decision to display our data let us see how it does control f5 running it this is the output that we have got no doubt this is the display this is the default display template that mvc holds for every model and it takes the best decision if you if you want to quickly display off the data so you have to just create your model create your model as usual pass the data as usual but when coming to coming to rendering the data you simply have to write at the at the rate html dot display for model and mvc will render the display template for the model that is specified at the top of the page actually it takes the best decision on the basis of these properties we can in fact display them individually also in this case what we saw is that we don't have any much control over the html and it was hardly of any practical use except that you could quickly see the data we can in fact if you look at this c student data mvc not only maintains a display template for the entire model it also maintains display templates for each of the properties also there is a default display template for the name property there is a default display template for the roll number properties mvc takes the best decision according to the data type of the property we can since mvc maintains different templates at the property level we can customize the display of a model look here if i remove this line and instead write table border is equal to 1 and if i write tr and when it is coming to display the name i can write at the rate html dot display for x goes to x dot name it will render the default display template for the name property here for the name property here at the rate html dot similarly i can complete of the entire table by displaying the roll number also roll number at the rate html dot display for x goes to x dot roll number that is you could have written normally here instead of this whole line you generally could have written at the rate model dot name of course this is the shortcut and uh, one of the ways of doing things 
I leave it to you what approach you actually use but this is available as an alternative because MVC will take the default template for the name property and for the roll number. Generally when you are writing at the rate model.name you are simply writing the text off. So a similar default exists for the string inside MVC so one and the same output comes. Let us run it and see. So no doubt this is more like polished and organized and more control is possible. The only difference I would say is the difference in the syntax. This is one of the ways you can find this also in documentation and you can find this type of code written many times. My whole purpose of telling this was to introduce the concept of a template which you might not have fully appreciated but at least it gets you started into the concept that it is possible to display properties individually in this format and also possible to display the entire model by writing just one line of code dot display for model. We will in the next lecture learn how to give write our own custom display templates. We can write our own custom display templates where we can define the colors, we can define the CSS and that makes this concept more powerful. So we can define the entire display template for the entire model so that we simply have to write one line here and wherever we write this line, this what HTML, the broken HTML that we wrote here need not be copy pasted at a number of places. We'll talk about it later in the next chapter.